When you chew bread or grain, 빵하고, 예, 빵하고 그 국물을 이렇게 씹을 때, it breaks down the simple, it breaks down the carbohydrates into simple carbohydrates, and it tastes sweet. 그래서 탄수화물을 분해가 되기 때문에 그게 당분이 되니까 아, 달아요. After about 40 days with your verse that you've memorized, that verse will be so sweet, it will be like honey in your mouth. 그래서 그걸 40일 동안 씹으면 아주 맛이 계속 달아지죠. 감동적이에요. I cannot explain to you what it's like. 예, 설명을 제가 할 수가 없고 여러분이 해보셔서 씹어보세요. It becomes a part of your mind. 여러분의 마음을 형성하는 그 말씀. Every verse that you have memorized, take it outside of your pocket. 자, 그 외우신 거다 이제 꽂아 놓으시고 꽂아서 보시고 and put it inside. 안에 넣으시고 I usually have my memorized ones up here and my blank cards down here, or either way. Then I take another one and I write it and I put it in here. But then every day, to experience that sweetness, and to make sure that I assimilate and digest it and I remember it many years from now. For 40 days, I go over that verse at least once. Approximately 40 days. So, entire verse you've memorized in your life. These are, these are ones that I've memorized. After 40 days, I don't do it every day. I do it periodically as I can, weekly or monthly or sure. on Sabbaths or some you know, holiday that I have. But for 40 days, every new verse that I've memorized, I go over at least once. Okay. So, some of the verses that I first memorized, since I've reviewed them, I still know them better than the ones I memorized last month. The ones that I memorized 10 years ago and I reviewed them properly, I know better than the ones that I memorized like last week. Okay. Wow. Number nine. Talk often of the scriptures that you have memorized. The Bible says that we should talk of them when we sit in our houses, when we walk by the way, when we lie down, and when we rise up. Joshua 1.8 says that we should meditate day and night. When we tell someone a verse that we love, it is making us remember that better. When we, when we tell a verse to someone, we remember that verse better because we told them. This is a great witnessing tool. Can you please quiz me on this verse? It's easy, you can memorize scripture too. I know a lady that I met that did this with the mayor of a city that she worked for. He saw her during a staff meeting memorizing the Bible and he asked her what she was doing and she told him and then he started to memorize with her. The more we teach that verse or we share, share it with others, the better we will remember it. I remember my first daughter, Rachel, I would, in the morning, over her crib, I would recite my memory verses.
she loved my voice and I loved telling her the verses. So she liked listening and I liked talking. Okay. And the word never returns void. Today she knows the Bible in its many parts better than I do. Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. Yeah, it's not, yeah. I bought a Bible game for her. I paid a good amount of money. And she knew the first 15 cards, basically. So I haven't used the Bible game since. <laughs> so take every opportunity you can. Number 10. Exhort one another. We need the Holy Spirit. If we find if we know someone that has made a decision to memorize, we should ask them how how is how it's going. One of the best things is to get a program like Fast, basic training or survival kit from Fast Missions. Fast your program you created? I didn't create it, Bob, but it's a, it's a it's an excellent program. You can get it at fast.st. fast.st website 가셔가지고 한번 정보를 보셔도 돼요. And do it with a small group at church. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. When you're doing things together with other people, it's very helpful for you to do it as well. When I was in my first scripture memory team, we would wake up at, we would have to be at our meeting at 5 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday morning. And because I didn't want to disappoint my partner for that day, sometimes I would wake up at 4 o'clock or before to make sure that I had my memory verse memorized. So Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10 say two are better than one. Because if one falls, then the other one lifts him up. And Hebrews 10, 24 and 25 say that we should provoke or agitate each other to love and to good works. To energetically, enthusiastically encourage each other to good works and love. Meeting with others who are committed to memorizing scripture. Where you pray, you sing, you quote your verses, and you give a testimony about your verse. This is a great help to personal struggles. Is it a little warm in here? I think heat rises, so my head is very hot. <laughs> You're okay down sitting, but... So those are the 10 keys. And they work. Now I'd like to talk a bit. Are there any questions, by the way? Yes. Oh. Can old people do it? Can old people? Whoever has a brain can do it. Oh, you might need to do it. Yeah.
Whoever has a brain can do it. Uh, I, was, uh, I was a missionary to Romania teaching how to memorize scripture in 1999. And there was a man who thought he was too old. And he looked old. <laughs> he worked with his hands. He was a farmer. Thick, strong fingers. And the day of the final exam, they had to quote 18 verses perfectly, not one mistake. 18 verses. Yeah. And he literally cried. He cried. He cried because he did it. Eighteen verses he memorized perfectly, not one mistake. So he didn't think it was possible, but it was possible. So what is the relationship between revival and the Word of God? In Ezekiel 37, it says that He's, uh, that the Lord said to Ezekiel, speak the word of the Lord to the bones, the dry bones. And then Ezekiel spoke in Ezekiel 37. He prophesied as he was commanded in verse 7. Ezekiel 37, verse 7. And then there was a noise and a shaking, and the bones came together bone to his bone. <laughs> what caused these bones to live? The word of the Lord. And along with the word of the Lord came the breath of the Lord, the Spirit of God. It says in verse 9, <laughs> Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Who are standing at the four winds in Revelation? The Holy Spirit comes through angels. This is also in Revelation. That God gave a message to Jesus who gave it to the angel who gave it through the Holy Spirit to John. It comes from the Father to Jesus to the angels. And then through the Holy Spirit to us. So, and we are also channels of the Holy Spirit. But this is amazing. Because the breath comes from all four winds. God is willing to pull all of His resources in order to revive us. We saw in John chapter 20 that the breath represents the Holy Spirit. I believe it was verse 22 when we looked at it yesterday. So, remember that there was a noise and a shaking and then the Holy Spirit came into them. And they were a mighty army. Do we have a job to do? 
to preach the gospel to every creature. 하나님이 만든 모든 피조물.